Hello and welcome to Nepal Traveller. Today we are at the Dusit Princess and we are meeting with the cluster GM of Dusit in Nepal, Mr. Samir Banerjee. He is an experienced GM. He has worked in India, in Nepal, as well as in the UK with various chains, national and international. Today as we sit here, we'd like to ask uh, Mr. Samir, tell us a little bit about Dusit, the importance of Dusit coming into Nepal. Uh, anyway, thank you, Mr. Lee, and uh, good to see all of you here. So, Dusit, uh, I would say uh, Nepal has all sort of flavors and brand in the country, but Nepal was missing uh, a brand which has full of promises, softness, and with a lot of graciousness. So I feel Dusit has landed in the right time uh, and Dusit especially has the two brand established in, in the country called Dusit Princess Kathmandu and Dusit Dhuli Khel, Dusit Thani Dhuli Khel. So we have a mix of a busy five-star hotel, city hotel and we have a luxury resort at the other end. So that is all about Dusit in Nepal. Uh, looking at Dusit and other international brands that are entering into Nepal, how do you see the significance of this? How, how does this help the tourism industry in Nepal? I strongly feel all this brand will make the destination because uh, once people start searching on their search engine, Googles and all, they will find all the best of best brands are coming in the Nepal and this will create the destination. Also, how do you see the, the opportunities that... Uh, that the destination offers for more brands to come in. Do you think Nepal as a destination is evolving to take on that kind of markets? The, the best flavor of Nepal, I feel, is it's, you know, uh, it's surrounded by mountains, plains, valleys. I'm sure uh, Nepal can accommodate a lot of new brands. And uh, the Nepal culture is very different. You know, the, the people welcome the brands, plus people want to, you know, explore the uh, best of best of it. That's what I feel about Nepal. And do sit internationally, I mean, where do you see this brand and what is the impact that it's making globally and what does it bring into Nepal with that? Especially uh, now, do sit is coming huge way. Do sit is coming in, uh, do sit is already uh, in Qatar and other part of the country of the world. But now do sit is coming in Japan and all the new uh, developed countries. So I see Dusit has a huge footprint all across the Southeast Asia, plus the Europe also we are expanding hugely. As, as a starting GM, because the, the property has just started, would you like to share some of the challenges, some of the uh, events perhaps that are memorable to you? See, initial challenges, I would always say that opening a hotel is a big challenge because, you know, your all the things has to be in place, like start from marketing, to, to develop a team, training and development, and then uh, focus on the right fitment is the biggest challenge. You know, getting people on board is not the, not the whole thing. Train them, you know, and then, and then, you know, train according what market is demanding from them. It was the biggest challenge, but, but I'm sure with our great team here, and Dositani, we have overcome that challenges and we are into the right fitment, right training and all those things. Uh, what kind of marketing does Dusit, is there anything special about Dusit? I mean, when we a new property and a branded property, what kind of is your focus on marketing? See, Dusit, I would say internationally well known for their, uh, uh, their uh, very architectural inspirations and all are very different from the other uh, the hotel, hotel block buildings. Dusit is known for their uh, uh, architectural inspirations. Dusit is known for their fine curated menu. Dusit is known for any function we do it in different style. That is all about Dusit. And today when you look at the market, there are many tourism stakeholders yeah, who say yeah. that perhaps there's too many hotels coming online suddenly yeah. post COVID. Correct. So has the market really recovered? What kind of challenges will this form? I'm very optimistic on this and I can see that uh, the country is, the, the, what the uh, tourist 
data was from 2019, I'm sure 2024, 2025 will be more than that. I see the market is developing very organically and things are in the right place. I feel that. Yeah. When you look at Nepal's hospitality sector and you worked in India, you worked abroad, what is unique about the hospitality sector in Nepal or where are the areas that we need to still improve? The best thing in Nepal that, you know, uh, people serve with a smile, which I worked in the other part of the world, it's difficult to see that. And the hospitality, hospitality in Nepal is within. It comes within from Nepal, from the, you know, heart. They serve for, with the smile and with the art of uh, hospitality. That's what I feel. And do you feel that post-COVID, our infrastructure as a destination has improved? I mean, what are we bringing to the market? I'm sure I can see that because if you see, even even not only the Kathmandu, or uh, out of valley, there is a lot of other developments also. There are the brands are exploring in in the you know uh, in the border area also. This means that uh, the there is an attraction for the brand. That's why they are coming and doing their feasibility and. And opening a hotel, for sure, there is some development is there. I mean, visible developments are there. And uh, as you look at the destination of Nepal, do you feel that uh, as a hotel, we are offering some unique experiences uh, in the hospitality sector? Yes, I can see that. If you see, that's why a lot of uh, uh, other than India and China, there is a lot of other guests from uh, the different part of the world are coming and exploring the country. Because we have adventure sports at Nepal, we have, you know, all varieties which we can offer to customer, which the other part of the world are offering. So everything is there at the country. You mentioned India and China, which are the two biggest markets for yeah, Nepal. Yeah. I mean, what else do you think we should be doing and where will DUSIT be in terms of promotional marketing, fairs? I strongly feel reaches are very important. So... There are uh, even all the, the hotels, uh, I mean, uh, my uh, fraternity colleagues, we all are into the reach to the different part of the world. We are uh, talking to different agents. We are talking to DMCs. You now we have leisure road map for them. So we are actually, uh, the, we are making the concept where we reach to the market and market is already developed. And, you know, I will share a small example. I was in Scotland. Uh, three four months back and i was talking to some of the uh, scotland tourism board they are really excited and they want to see nepal how it is sometimes it is good to be raw some part of the nepal, nepal is raw but people want to explore that rawness also yeah as a final question sir you you've seen the world you've worked in different properties in different countries what is it about nepal that you would like to tell the world and, and as a GM, please come explore the country. It's a beautiful country with lovely people and food is our delicacies. I mean, our food is best in the world. And about Dusit, what is unique about Dusit Princess and Dusit Thandu? See, Dusit is uh, uh, run for responsible tourism. That's what about Dusit. We are uh, very eco-friendly hotels and uh, come and explore us. Thank you so much, sir, for taking the time. To Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.